I mean, read the Bible and everything jumped to life. And your spirit leaped for joy and you start to get excited knowing that Jesus has paid the price for us so that we might become like him. This is the glory of the New Testament ministry. It's the spirit, this ministry of the spirit, which is the spirit of Jesus. And that spirit recreate us into his image and in his likeness. And it remains on us, not like with Moses. Moses had to cover his face so that people do not see the glory fading away. But in the new covenant, the glory cannot fade away. It is in us and it is working in us. Even if you see a person is down and you see his suffering, you knowing that that spirit is working in him and creating, recreating his image and his likeness into the image and the likeness of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Look at the guy next to you. Say to him, hey, look what the Lord has done. He saved you he saved just, in time. just in time. Look at you now. I see the glory of Jesus in you and on you. Amen. In the old covenant, the glory was on the people. In the new covenant, the glory is in the people. Awesome. Changing us from the inside out. In the old covenant, the Holy Spirit came on the people. He could not really find a place in their hearts because their hearts were wicked and far from God, even the Jews. So the Holy Spirit is like a dove. He will not force himself on anyone. He's looking for a heart after him, a heart that will receive him, a heart that will welcome him. Amen. So when Noah sent out the little dove, to see if that dove could find a place to go and sit. The first time it could not find, and it came back. But when it found the place on which it can sit, he reminded it did not come back to Noah. So is the Holy Spirit. He must find in your heart a place, otherwise he will go back to God. Hallelujah. So if I pray for you tonight, I many times tell you, when I pray for people and I find the person of peace in this place, the Holy Spirit will remain with him. My peace will remain on him. Jesus said, if you find a man of peace, leave your peace there. But if you do not find a man of peace, let your peace return to you. If I do not find a man, if I preach tonight to you peace and the anointing, and you're not a person of peace, the anointing will return to me. And I will have to give it to someone else. Hallelujah. Say to the guy next to you, don't worry. If you walk out here tonight, you will be a person of peace. In Jesus' name. Amen.